Good morning, everybody. I'm Pastor KZ, and I want to give you a word for today. And that word is, you know, God has new opportunities, new blessings, breakthroughs, miracles, and healings just for you. But one of the core problems is you don't get still enough to sit and hear the voice of God and wait for his directions and instructions. Some of you don't walk in obedience and some of you are too busy. You just got too much stuff you're trying to do. Your mind is in a thousand different directions. You got anxiety going on. You got a depressive spirit. So there's a lot of things that is hindering and preventing you and blocking you. And part of the problem is you. Sometimes you can be your own worst enemy. So you've got to be mindful and take heed to what I'm about to say to you because sometimes it's hard to hear the truth. <clears throat> now, there are some things in your life, there's some people in your life who you simply have to let go of. There's some things that you're doing you have got to stop doing because you're your own worst enemy. You're making the situation worse for yourself. And then you sitting and you wondering why? Oh God, well, I'm a good person. I, I, I've done good things for people, but you still don't get it. You don't understand that there's work needs to be done. And sometimes you got to do the work on yourself first. And from the book of Psalms, chapter 46, verse 10, I just, I always let these eight words minister to my spirit when I find myself overwhelmed and taking on too much and walking in all type of chaos and drama. This particular scripture really helps me. Psalms 46, verse 10, and it says, be still and know I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When you still yourself, God will move. Just watch. When you still yourself, God will be present. When you take a few moments and just sit still and just enter into his presence and invite him in your space. See, we have a tendency to invite ourselves and to other people's spaces, or we invite other people into our space. But do you take the time to actually invite the most high into your space? When you still yourself, that's when you begin to get some power and you begin to get clarity of thought. When you still yourself and stop moving around and let go of some things, that's when God will start moving. There's a song that says, as soon as I stopped worrying, I let go and I let God have his way. Somebody watching today, I don't know who this is for. You need to let go and you need to let God. S begin your day with stillness. You know what? We oftentimes pray for things and it's delayed or even it's denied. But you know what? Before you ask God for something. I'd like for you to try this. Before you start asking him for things, why don't you thank him for 20 things? 20 things give thanks for before you start asking for all of this stuff. And be still and wait for the answer. Sometimes we'll pray about something and we don't wait for God to do it. What we do is jump in and try to do it ourselves instead of waiting. And sometimes it's the wait, the patient, the patiently waiting. That's what's going to give you your breakthrough and your miracle. Because sometimes you jump in and try to rush the process and you mess it up. So you've got to learn how to start your day with stillness. Don't begin your day with chaos. Some of you, you from the moment you get up in the morning, your day starts with chaos. It starts with some kind of drama. It's some something going on. Something. When do you just be still? When do you shut your mind down and just be still? Another thing is make God a priority. Make God your priority. Some of you, you put everything else as a priority and God is not your priority. He way down on the list. And some people don't call on him until they get desperate and need him. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Also, expect God to be there with you at all times. 
He's always there. Sometimes when you're just so busy running around and you're overwhelmed and in chaos and toxic situations, you don't stop for a moment and even acknowledge his presence. So remember that. Also, I'm going to just say this. Stop trying to fight your battles by yourself. Stop trying to problem solve everything. And your last resort when you have no other recourse is then to pray. You've got to make that your priority. You've got to learn how to be still and know. What that means is have confidence that no matter what you are going through, no matter what you are dealing with, the Most High God is with you. He does not forget about you. He does not abandon you. He never leaves you. When you're going through a storm, He's there. When you're going through a good day, a good season, a prosperous season, everything going well for you, He is there. But He is also there through the rough times. He's there when your body breaks down and you've had surgery or you got a aches and pain, he's still there. In spite of what the doctor's diagnosis is, you've got to know, you've got to have confidence that no matter what I'm going through, I know he's there. And I know this is going to work for my good. Things are going to turn around for me, but I've got to learn how to be still. Some of you in your relationships with other people. Do you not know when you have bring all of that chaos and drama to people, whether it's your co-workers, whether it's your family members, whether it's your spouse, a person who has nothing but drama and chaos and toxic situations, what you do is you drive that person away from you because they have enough on their plate worrying about their own stuff. They're not trying to take on your stuff because you know what? They've decided that I've got to let other people baggage go. I got to work on me. I got to get myself right. I've got to learn how to be still. And I've got to know how to enter into the presence of the Most High. Y'all, I just want to tell somebody today, whatever it is that you need, tell God about it. Tell God about it and wait for the answer. Y'all, I'm going to just be honest with you. Sometimes his answer is no. Sometimes that thing that you want is not what he has for you. And sometimes you can be tricked into thinking this is what I want. This is what I prayed for. This is what God has for me. And is it really something he has for you or is that something you want? See, sometimes you got to be still so you can see what's going on. So what I'm saying to you today, I encourage you, learn stillness. Learn how to quiet your spirit. Learn not to take on other people's stuff. And understand, if you are blocking your breakthrough, if you are hindering your progress, you need to do a self-inventory and say, Lord, work on me. See, some people try to work on other people and diagnose other people and fix other people when you ain't looked in the mirror. God got some great things ahead. There's new opportunities for you if you just sit and you be still and walk in stillness. So get out of the chaos. Get out of the drama and get out of toxic situations. Trust me, things are going to turn around for you. And you know what? It's okay to let some things go, and it's okay to let some people go. And I want to say this and be very clear. If God has something for you, it doesn't matter what happens. If it's yours, it's yours. And if it's not, be okay with that also. And if someone wants to walk out of your life, let them walk out of your life. Maybe that person's, in, the end of the story is that. Maybe that person came into your life for a season or a reason. Maybe it wasn't for a lifetime. Be okay with taking this journey alone and understand you got to fix and be still and work on you. Things going to turn around for you. Miracles will happen. Breakthroughs. I still believe in breakthroughs. I still believe in healings. But you know what? I've read all type of research studies, but it's nothing like a personal testimony. And y'all, I can testify that when I got still, a lot of my issues, God took care of that thing. So you got to be still. You've got to have your spirit at peace. So be at peace and y'all have a wonderful Sunday and I pray that all of you be still and know. Have a great day.